Hello everyone. This video is a brief introduction about how to use the UCC cell browser. The UCSC cell browser is a fast, lightweight viewer for single cell data. UCC has already provided a few sample data sites. You can play with this sample data size when you first use this UCC cell browser tool. When you get familiar with this UCC cell browser tool, you can generate your own using your own data size. The files you need to generate this kind of UCSL browser can be the RDS file you generated by analyzing your data size using a thread, or can be the results directly from Cell Ranger, or can be text files including the expression metric, cell annotation metadata table, and the cell coordinates. If you want to know how to generate this kind of cell browser, you can check their installation and the setup instructions websites. It has all the details about how to installation their package, what kinds of inputs you need to provide, and how to write script how to generate the cell browser. Now let us see what we can do with this UCC cell browser. This is a single cell RNA sequence data about CD138 multiple myeloma. Now we can see the whole window has been split into three main parts. The first one is the left panel, which is the color control panel. You can color these cells based on different metadata you're interested in. And the middle panel is the 2D plot of cells, arranged by algorithms such as TSNI or UMAP, depending on what you use them when you analyze your own data size. And the right panel is the legend panel, showing the color legend based on what metadata you choose from the color control panel. The first thing we can do with this cell browser is we can choose to color these cells based on different metadata we are interested in. Like what listed here, we can color these cells based on the number of genes in each cell or based on the number of rays in each cell or we can color the cells based on the cell type annotation results or based on the cell cholesterol results. We can also color the cells based on other metadata. Like in this data size, we have an extra metadata, which is sample here. We can color the cells based on different samples. One, we have two samples included in this data size. You can see one is colored by red and one is colored blue. Based on this color code, we can directly check the difference among different clusters between these two samples. And uh, the second thing we can do, we can select one cluster or one cell type and check the difference. For example, if we are interested in NK cells, we can select NK cells from the color legend panel. And then the left panel will show some numbers. If you move your mouse over here, you can check these NK cells are from cluster 4. And in these NK cell clusters, it will give you the different percentage of the cells from one sample and from another sample. And there is also another way to select cells. You can see here, there is a select mode button. If you click it, and then select the parts you're interested in. It will also give you the numbers here. For example, in the thread clusters metadata, you can see all the cells we selected here. 42% of them are CD4 plus T cells. 29% of them are CD8 plus T cells. And 28% of them are NK cells. And if you see from the sample metadata, the cells we selected, the all of the for for all of the cells we selected, forty-eight percentage of them are from the frozen samples, and the forty-one percentage of them are for, are from the fresh samples. And the other thing we can do using this UCSC cell browser is to check the gene expression. From the left panel here, there is a button named genes. 
if you click the genes, the left panel will change. So the color control panel will change the into color by gene. If you click the search for gene here, you can search any genes you're interested in. For example, here, if we are interested in the marker gene of T cells, we can tap in one marker gene for T cells, the CD, 3D. After we click it, the middle panel will be changed. And uh, you can see the cells which are not expressed these genes will become light gray. And the cells expressed these CD3D genes will be colored based on their different expression level. And the right panel will also be changed. It will be changed into the expression level of these genes. And from the right panel here, we can select the cells based on the gene expression level you're interested in. For example, if you're only interested in cells express this CD3D genes over two, you can select the ranges which are larger than two. And from the middle panel, you will see which cells are selected. And there is also a plot here. The left column is the cells you selected, and the right column is other cells which are not selected. From this plot, you can directly see the difference between the cells you are selected and the cells you are not selected. Except selecting the ranges here, there is also another way to check the different distribution among cells. Come back to the middle panel. We choose the Select Mode button and select the clusters we are interested in. And from the right panel, you can see the plot has changed. Now it is showing the compression between the cells we are selected and the cells we are not selected. If you are also interested in another gene, but you want to keep this screen, Use this CSL browser provide a split function, which you can split your window. It's from here, from the wheel, and you can see there is a split screen. If you choose it, you will see your middle panel has been split into two. We can keep the CD3D genes in our left panel. From the right panel, we can choose to see the gene's pressure level for another gene. And then it will show the gene expression level of this CD8A gene. Same as what we do for CD3D, we can choose the expression range we are interested in. It will give you a compression plot between the cells you selected and the cells you are not selected. If you think this is an interesting result and you want to save these figures into your own computer, UCC also provides this kind of function. You can choose it from the file and it has a button called Download Current Image. You can choose it and then this image will be downloaded into your own computer. That's all for this brief introduction about how to use UCC Cell Browser. Hope it is helpful. Thank you.